And before we start, we'd of course like to be a Patreon shout out this week to our patron, Joey Chu. Um, Not Joey J. No, Joey <laughs> Chu is in like no, he chews no, a gay ass bitch. bitch. They chew. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Exactly. Not that one, sorry, unfortunately. And then came out in that wig. Okay. Anyway, um, I know that was the hair. They kept going on that bloody that hair. That was his hair. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It was embarrassing. Sorry, Joey. We're not talking about you. We're talking about another Joey. Um, but Joey, thank <laughs> you so much. the Game of Thrones wig. We still oh. see it. Where? Oh. It's, it's hidden away. Mm. It's a cute wig thing. if you lay the lace down. I did, yeah. I just wasn't doing ah, it at ah, five ah, o'clock ah, in the morning. Jesus. Well, that's not dedication. No. But I thank you, know. Joey. Yeah, thank you, Joey, for supporting us. Um, thank you for being a lovely patron. We appreciate it as or forever and always. Alyssa Edwards, thanks. Welcome to the horror hour. We all go a little mad. Oh, forget you. Oh, you the dead. Oh, I am. You have to what the fuck is going on in here in this day? I'll tell you oh. what's going on. It's stressful. That's what's going on. It's okay. stressful. Life is stressful. I've been off for five days and I'm going to go back to work and I want to slit me through. Anyway. Oh, first world problems. Literally. Okay. Well, right. second world. Have we met in George? In Syria, wherever he lives. <laughs> Vietnam with the war. Um, okay, three to one. Thanks, Jesus. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Horror Hour, the place where we discuss, debate, and disagree on all things horror. I'm on your host, George, and today I've got my fellow co-host with me. Yeah. We have you, Taka. Hello. Oh my God, I'm just hitting all my wires. I mean, hi. Oh, oh be careful over there. Um, we also have Liam. <laughs> hi. He nice would be to doing see you that. again. Uh huh, Never Liam. Oh, oh. And keeping oh. up with the the sexual porn noises, hi. it's David. Huh? Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody wants to say hi. Okay. Oh. Me and LV want to, like, oh, you know, yay. she's, you know. Oh, you took her out of the box? Yes. I have been expecting stand. that. Oh, I didn't know yeah. it came with that. Oh. Well, because she sleeps next to me. <laughs> Not no, in the back, <laughs> but in the in the yes. nightstand. Just she's just lying the on the pillow. <laughs> oh, you gotta make sure the bump. You gotta make sure the bump is right. No, no she's not, she's in the nightstand next to me, so she's always next to my phone. So I, when I woke up, I just see her every oh, day. So that's she's so cute. I love yeah. it. Bless her. Oh. But yes, I am feeling my porn her. fantasy. I guess like it will be like the the what is it the the home the amateur the amateur the amateur amateur homemade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You look yeah, like yeah. you're gonna be on the cover of Men.com. Oh. I don't know about that one. No. Um, but yeah, I do know about the one I that I remember I mentioned it. it was the one of the guy that he's like drunk, passed out on the bed, and then the guy's a little bit drunk too, and then he I think it's like his steps brother or something like that. Is this like amateur really or is this real? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's amateur. Oh, uh, I know it's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> is it one of them? Don't act like y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll talk about that in the after hours. But um today we are not talking Woo! about homemade um P-O-R-N. We are uh, talking about uh, our favorite <laughs> TV horror shows, series, miniature series, whatever you want to call it. I May mean, I just um, say I think this is my favorite topic. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because I have some of my favorite. Oh, I've I'm got some forward. random ones, too, that I really enjoy. So I'm excited. Yeah, oh, I've yeah. tried to make mine, you know, not the obvious ones for a change. That's nice. Um, well, what, some of them are obvious, but maybe one Way of them is not. Versatile. So, you know, I'm trying. Mm -hmm. So let's just delve in. Let's go for it. And David, let's go with you today. Let's start us off with something. What have you got? Okay, so I had to... I pro okay, I don't know if I should start with my favorite. Yeah, I'm going to start with my favorite. Okay. So this Damn one it. is... Now, y'all know my obsession with Alfred Hitchcock mm -hmm. and Psycho. Yeah. And how I think Psycho 2 is, like, one of the best. It's perfect. Things. Underrated, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. So this one, Alfred Hitchcock used to make a show for the young people that he used to do a show called Alfred Hitchcock Presents. And oh, Alfred yeah, Hitchcock okay. Hour. Mm -hmm. So it's the same. It's the same thing. Just that one was later that we came like instead of twenty five minutes, one became like fifty minutes to an hour. So this one is from Alfred Hitchcock Hour, and it's called An Unlocked Window, season three, episode seventeen. Now, I it's not like the specifics. 
Well, I just because we'll it's on Peacock, so if anybody wants to check out, because it's anthology, oh, I love so that. every episode is completely like as a so you don't have to be like watch, you know, mm-hmm. especially because they're like thirty something episodes per season. So right. this one is an unlock window. It basically tells the story of this um, nurses that are taking care. Well, nurses are getting murdered and all that stuff. It's like nineteen sixty something. It's nineteen. It's a year, a year after Psycho because they used the house, the exterior is the house of Psycho. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, um, and basically, the movie, the, the mini movie, starts with a nurse taking, done for the day, taking care of somebody that she's walking home, and then a man comes behind her and murders her. But his voice is so, ugh. so then they start, you know, the news is airing it out, and the nurses are taking care of, of this guy in the psycho house, and it's raining and storming, and it takes the suspense is because they're like lock your windows, lock your doors, and the nurse is like trying to lock everything else, but she forgets that she left the window from the basement open. And so it gets, every couple minutes, it just shows to the window. Da, da, da. The suspense that it builds, because there's three people in the house and the guy that's on the bed laying down, whatever. So you know the guy's out there and he's going to come in. And the suspense that it builds up until the end, the ending, it gives me the biggest chill. Like, it's just so nasty because it's just like, it's black and white. The music is ridiculous. The The... Oh my god! So it's, so everything leading up to that, because you know somebody's gonna get murdered, you don't mm. know who's gonna be left, and it's not gory. It's not. I would think a la psycho. That's what be like okay. the type okay. of suspense. It is one of the best things. I when I watch it whenever it's like raining, because it's like just I turn off the lights and it's just that black and white, the storm, and it's just Ugh. and everybody's paranoid because everybody knows that he's out there. He's killed already like a couple people, and his voice, and then one of them starts hearing his voice. There's a scene where she, the guy is talking to the girl who's in the kitchen. And she's like, she thinks she's going crazy, but he's in the house. So it, oh my God, it's, it's so good. The suspense that it builds and that ending, it literally like makes me feel sick to my stomach because it's just so uncomfortable to watch. Damn. <laughs> it's so good. I recommend it to anybody. It's a quick, I think it's like a quick 50 minutes. You say on Paramount okay. Plus? No, no, no. Uh, Peacock. A Peacock, Peacock. Sorry, Peacock. It has it has uh, Alfred Hitchcock Hour and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Okay. Presents came first, and then they took a break, and then but it's still really the same thing. It's just this, and and Alfred Hitchcock has the weirdest sense of humor that I like because he's so deadpan. Where mm-hmm. he just make a joke, and it's just like because he introduces it and then he finishes it. Right. So, <clears throat> oh my God! If you love <clears throat> Psycho, or if you enjoy Psycho, you would love this. It's so good. Oh. You don't know who survives, you don't know who dies. You, you're very good at, like, giving, you know, I'm quite, it makes me want to watch it. It's so good. I recommend, especially if it's, like, a gloomy night and you just turn off all the lights and you just let it play. It is perfection. It is perfection, in my opinion. Okay. Well, that's a good, strong one to start <laughs> off with. Thanks, David. Thank you, um, Martha. Yeah. You, yes, Tucker? Uh, How oh, about you? fuck off. I was hoping Liam would. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, you don't want to come Jesus. after? <laughs> That's I'm fair. mixing up a bit. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, now mine is not streaming, unfortunately. So you're gonna have to rent it somewhere. But, and this was a show that was on. It was on CBS. I freaking loved it. It, um, it was billed as like this. They were hoping to do multiple seasons, but they only ended up doing one. Came out the Law in... and Order Horror Edition. No, Ooh, that or that would be good. Though. You that know, I watch good. it. Yeah. Oh, uh. so this came out in 2009. It's called Harper's Island. <gasps> yes, I don't know if you guys. So it was a 13 week um show, so 13 episodes, and like the tagline was 25 suspects, one killer. And so Ooh, it's just this, you um, love it, David. Ooh, it's a I'm complete kind of uh, it, yeah. murder mystery slasher. And it's basically a um, a whole bridal party. They're going to have like this wedding on this estate. And I mean, from the get go, they have um, their their big, I guess, marquee name kill was, I think, Harry Hamlin, which I thought was really cool. Harry Hamlin. Yeah. yeah. Have you met like, my husband, Harry Hamlin? <laughs> yes. And but he's literally they're like, have you seen Uncle So-and-so as they're getting on the boat? to go to the island and he's literally tied underneath the boat right next to the propeller so when the boat starts <gasps> yeah i mean this show was rotted and gutted because for it to be on prime time and to be 
it was before Scream Queens, but it was it was not billed as like this comedy or anything. This was a a dark, serious murder mystery, and so you were constantly it's going. Like, and then there were none. It, like a, an precisely island. it, mm -hmm. like are, it yeah, yeah. literally whittles down to Ooh. I think the final two people. Oh, and then so you find out there were none. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh. oh, I love that. I loved it. It was it's free it was on YouTube, really by good. the way, for anybody. Good oh, <laughs> I wish it. Yeah, I watch it sometimes when I'm editing. <laughs> oh, that one. I oh, think yeah. Manhattan Island. Island. I was like, oh, no, oh no, no, I'll no, watch no, it. That's another one. No, no, no. But <laughs> that's also a good movie. But yeah, I it's it was just a fun, dark, moody uh series that uh, obviously if george knows about it obviously he loves the house in it because it's yes. stunning it was on bbc3 here in the uk Liam. And i knew was about it, it because my parents watched it mm. and it has one i would i would say uh, but i wouldn't tell you exactly the scene but there's one scene in it that i watched for hours on end and it's just the you can't have me scene on the bridge oh, oh, ah! it's got, it's got, um... i the song i literally oh it talk about drama and that was for the gays that moment. It was so oh, good. I love it. Yeah. yeah. So it's a good, it's it's a really good series. What's it right called? Now? Christopher Gorham. That's it. it. I like him. From Covert Affairs. And, I... um, what else was he in? Oh, ugly Betty. <laughs> Thank you. He was an ugly Betty. <laughs> two different types. Two Betty different types of people in this room. And the guy from <laughs> Epic Movies in it as well, the British guy. Adam mm. Campbell. Yeah. And Katie Cassidy. It's okay. good. Mm -hmm. It was really good. I, yeah, I feel like cast. I remember seeing ads for this when it Probably. came out. Yeah. I but then it. never watched it because it I was definitely recommend you 2009. Yeah. I spent more time getting drunk than I did watching TV. 2009. The only thing I did about 2009 is that that was the year Kali came out. No. Yeah. 2009 no. was yeah. Kali, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what happened in high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay, Harbour's Island. That's a really good one. Oh my god, yeah, that unlocked a memory, man. Um, okay then, Liam. How about you? Um, I'm gonna get my obvious one out of the way. True Blood. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is top tier. It is amazing. Um, I was obsessed. With True Blood, I've watched rewatched it multiple times. Um, Rutina Wesley oh, is amazing. Um, Kristen, is it Bear? I don't know how you spell it. Oh, I Bear, yeah, I think it is. Pam, That's really Are you asking this crowd? <laughs> no, no. I, yeah, I know. I know. I, I asked the crowd, and then I realized who I was. She asking, was like, uh, like yeah, "What's his name?" It was right Pam. hand woman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Pam. Um, Alexander Skarsgård's sexy, you. slutty, bisexual mm. helper. There's one of the brothers that I recently found oh. out. There's a new one? No, 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 no. no. He's, he one. looks a little bit older, but he's <laughs> a little bit baldy. Yeah, yeah. He was in He was oh? in that Merlin. He played Merlin in that Netflix show. Um, Hold the fuck on. Hold on. With There's another him, Skarsgård brother? From, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll um, look it up, but continue cursed, on with your show. Cursed. Is it Lark? Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Stellan really got to work, Gustav. didn't he? Oh, honey. I think it's Goose. I think it's Goose. Yeah, Ice Gustav was 1980. He was born. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he he's good Merlin looking. Yeah. In Cursed. Yeah, I was like, yes. oh. Westworld. Like he was in Westworld. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, well, he was sorry, in, um, um, is it a Catherine yeah. Newton? The, yes. the one who was in 13 Ant Reasons Man. Why? No. No, that's um, Catherine. No. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so anyway, True Blood. Uh -huh. One of yeah. uh -huh. Tony Stark's daughter. Anyway, shit, yeah. I, he was in that show with her. Um, but yes, True Blood. Anna pa it was like, Anna Paquin's like, oh, look, she was like a child actress and he has her tits. Um, <laughs> well, shut the <laughs> fuck up. I'm sorry. Watch the movie. <laughs> Stick Not a fork in 1996 already. Okay, sorry, like, quickly go before I stop going. Uh, um, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it gave us Deborah <laughs> and Wall, who I believe everyone loves um who wouldn't love her she was the um, one um from escape room who ended up falling to her death oh okay <gasps> yeah. yes and uh, that's mm -mm. The i love one. watching you watch that scene even oh, edit y'all so i don't wasn't play it? with heights i don't play with... when she was hanging on by that cord i was like girl just let go <laughs> <laughs> oh it was so sad it was so sad no but my petty ass i would have taken the ball with me Fuck these bitches. Just I right know there. you would have. I, I would have. I'm Petty LaBelle. Anyway. Yeah. 
Uh, again, obviously, it gave us Ooh. Alexander Skarsgård, mm-hmm. um, uh, Ryan Quent- Quentin, who uh-huh. pre- pre- he was like, another Australian. Yeah. Um, it was it Dead yeah. Silence? He also did. Mm-hmm. Yes, that was yeah. him. <gasps> yeah, that's him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, shit. True Blood had a ton. That's where I found. Oh, True Blood had now, such. Now a I cast. can't remember his name because he ends up. He became a staple in American Horror Story. Why can I the Which the older man? the Jim. butler? He be he was oh, the butler and oh Coven. Um, oh my god. Oh, really? Uh, Dennis, oh, O'Hare. Derek, Dennis, O'Hare. D- Dennis O'Hare. Dennis O'Hare. Dennis O'Hare. He was yeah, in yeah. True Blood because he was like this gnarly, nasty, like vampire who Over oh i love him yeah 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 ooh. he was so yeah, and little... he was gay and oh yeah. very, very, very life, gay. yes yeah, 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 yeah he, was. Seen True he was on drag race mm-hmm. yes. season nine what? snatch game i do remember that oh the, i remember that yes yeah yeah, yeah no yeah. true blood's a have great you... show i don't i don't i don't know it's have you never life. watched true blood david damn I think you're missing oh, out on that one. So, this is like something right either. up your street. I just know. Well, I'm it. listen. I'm still. I'm. I'm still on Buffy and Angel. So <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> so I'm um, happy you're like experiencing that. So that's great. I'm having a blast, son. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, True Blood Which... next because it is right up your alley. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's all. Oh. It's very cam. It's high cam. Yeah. Um, Joe Mangan Yellow as well. He was very Ooh. naming the cast Ooh. on this. Like, yeah, just, like this is your description of all the, the time. Like, this is your I'm, just <laughs> yeah. to, I'm just, I am advertising it to David. And I am yeah. pointing out all of the hot men yeah. this, that are going to be taking their tops. Tell off. us why you love the show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. did. It was over the top and cam, oh, um, and hot men with no tops. And it had on. all the sex. and had men right. with no tops on. Um, but it also had very strong female roles as well. Um. Even in like the guest roles, like you would have people come in for like short guest so stints. Just, so just have they to say game and watch good. and love it. And yeah, just, like, like and the story and was it. really good. Like, they, they had yeah, great cliffhangers like, and it's wait, wait, Southern America. It's like mm-hmm. in the bayou. Yep. Yeah, there we go. It's in the bayou. Um, mm-hmm. in um, it's like vampires have like started to come out. Like everyone knows about vampires now because they've created a synthetic blood. So it means vampires don't have to eat humans anymore. They can oh. have this blood. Okay. So everyone's just out and about with drinking their fake blood. But obviously you have vampires that don't want to be drinking the fake blood and they want to be drinking the real shit. Um, oh, and it obviously rebel. causes causes Rebels. friction in the human mm-hmm. world. Um, but then you've along the way find that there's not just vampires, there's also other things and it's, so it's based on a right. set of books called the Sucky Stackhouse Novellas. Um, Is it, it was Netflix? Twilight before Twilight. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's on Sky over here. It, oh, okay. it was a HBO Mac. It was a HBO show. Okay. Yeah, it's um, on HBO Max here. Yeah. So it's right. Sky in the UK or now TV in the UK. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Excellent. Excellent series. And you get to see Alexander Skarsgård's penis. So really? we'll wait until you watch Everyone's Infinity winning. Pool. And they like, I remember they were like promoting that in a sense, like he's gonna show. And we're like, okay. And sure, oh my goodness, he did. Yeah, because like the women, the women had been naked quite a lot, mm. but you, you'd only really seen butts. For the men. final days, season, they showed tons of people. Like by the end of the you series, get the, the prosthetic, like with no, no, white he, lotus and all those stuff. Yeah, no, Alexander, no, he was just out and about. Was, Oh my goodness, in this well, rated I, version, I would of, feel in, a little bit uncomfortable. I feel like it would just go inside my body because so many people watching we're like oh anyone else? i feel like i, I, I thought you meant, I I thought you meant come his penis would go inside your body i was like oh. all right david oh my goodness i'm not vulgar like that um no i mean like if so many people watching like the director the people with the light and all that stuff and i'm like yeah Ooh. i would yeah i imagine it would be awkward but he did yeah. it and it was marvelous um but yeah i think for david alone Kristen bell whatever she's her surname is you will gravitate towards Pam like no Me? other. Uh-huh. She is she's a dumb top. Of, she is a dumb top Ooh. highest of the bitches. You would adore her. You would worship at her older. You know, like and for Pam crazy, alone, just, you, you know, should you know. watch it. Um, right, and it was also, it had um, N- uh, Nelson Ellis before he died as well, playing mm. Lafayette. He... Oh, that right, that, such... he's the one that I always see. He was of, so good in that, and yeah, yeah, it was. And he was beautiful. That, in it. Just, 
Mm-hmm. His, I was just worried with the head wrap and all that stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, God, work, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh. thank you, Liam, for well, yeah. that one. Thanks for naming Thank you. every member of the cast. I much appreciate it. Oh, I have I have a list that is even longer. <laughs> Jesus, um, I had all the guests. I was like, I had the guest stars. Okay. I was like, <laughs> well, you know, right. got an hour, so let's calm down. Um, okay, then. So I'll do my next one, and I'll do the most obvious one to get it out of the way with as well. Um, and I'm going to go with the best um series that's ever been on television ever and that's dead set um and it really is just the absolute pinnacle of media um i've talked about this a lot on the channel in passing and um me and nick will be watching this um because he has no choice now so it's basically <laughs> a five part mini series available on netflix i believe it was it's on netflix in the uk and i think it's on netflix in the us but i could be wrong it could oh, have girl. gone off um it is fantastic and basically it is what? big brother with zombies um so it basically takes place like where it's just a normal um episode of big brothers happening and then you're behind the scenes doing what's going on and then you keep seeing this stuff on the news anyway the apocalypse begins and um a group of survivors hide in the house while the apocalypse is happening and it's just it's by the guy who does black mirror so charlie brooker charlie so it's brooker. very I like it as well because it's very meta. It it it's kind of meta and it talks. You know, the zombies are a metaphor for things and blah, blah, which they usually are. But this one is like really is like harks into what what it's about, and it's just so good. It's short. The first episode's forty minutes. The rest are twenty five minutes without adverts, so you can watch the whole thing in three hours. It's amazing, um, and it's just oh, it's I can't. I don't want to say too much because I just want you to all to watch it if you can because it really is just some of the best zombie content that's ever been produced and it only works as a mini series so you have to watch it because it's just i can't there's pits that people unless you're british you wouldn't get so like for example the host in this show is the actual host or was the host of big brother in the uk she played herself in it and then at one point when they're behind the scenes and they're having they have like ex-housemates who are actually ex-housemates from the show but other than that everyone else in it is an actor they That's was like kind of fun nuts. i like that but it was, yeah. it's, it's, so other than that, you could watch, you don't need to be like, you wouldn't know anything else. It's just those two things. But it's... I, I remember when that came, when it came out and like, even people who I was friends with who don't really watch, don't watch horror stuff at all, were like so excited for this show because they were huge fans of Big Brother. Yeah. And it, it was actually going to be set in the actual Big Brother house. Like it was, they didn't like, skim they out filmed and just it like, in the big brother house they filmed they it in the big brother set. house yeah not all of it so they filmed the actual set inside is a is built but what they did do because big brother was filmed at the exact same time oh. is um <laughs> there's one point in the, in the first in the first episode like <laughs> they um they have one of the contestants you know evicted and but the, what they did they filmed literally after an episode had aired they filmed with the real cast the real um audience and she came out of the real big brother house just from the entrance and came down the stairs and that was in legitimately the big brother house <laughs> i like that that's fun but it it's, was it's, so it's fun so good. and it was really fun watching it going at the time going oh my god that's such and such i remember them such and such oh my god it's such and such yeah because you were such, you... at the time it was at the biggest hype of big brother yeah 2008 well. it came out but you can mm. watch it and enjoy i think i believe you can watch it and enjoy it without knowing yeah some of the easter eggs that are in it because it is just written so well um and the the char- the characters in it they're all very very gray characters so like there's a and there's one character who is the most abhorrent man ever but has an iconic scene in the last oh, episode. I was going to say something. Oh, what were you going to say? You're going to have to edit out. Never mind. Never <laughs> okay. Mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think y'all know who I'm talking about. Anyways, sorry. Never mind. Um, but yeah, so, and he has the most iconic scene in the last episode. So just to see his arc is fantastic. So anyway, Dead Set, yeah. please, if you can just like find it, buy it. It's so worth it. Please. Thank you. Um. Okay, moving it on. All, it is what get, got Charlie Brooker uh, Black Mirror. Yeah. It is and iconic. So yeah. then, moving on, David, have you got a second one for us? Yeah, and I mentioned it already, but I'm going to mention it again. Mm-hmm. So I started watching Angel because Buff. There's some crossover episodes with Buffy in season four. Mm-hmm. So Nick was adamant that I started Angel. So I was like, kind of fine. I'll start Angel. 
the, we get to an episode is uh I fall to pieces when I'm with you. Okay, sorry. Um it's I'm trying to think of the episode. It's basically this guy who's a doctor, and this woman uh-huh. is being stalked by him. The problem is it's not just that, it's like his limbs tend to detach. So his eyes, his arms, and all that his, his hands and all that stuff. There's a scene, it's not like a scary episode, but it's just I'm a I'm a I'm a very um paranoid person so it, it's just a scene where she's in bed and she's you know sleeping on stuff and his hands she's also he's outside of her of her um apartment and his hands detach and they start crawling up and so they get to her house and then she's sleeping and the hands just crawl under her sheets and it's just like you know like all kind of freaky shit and, and she just wakes up and it's just like hands just like all up in her like that that shit took me the fuck out and it's just so it's very disturbing to watch because you see his eyes for coming out and you see his limbs. Falling. It took me a minute because I just don't like things that I just don't like little things just crawling up and all that stuff. It gave me the willies. And it, I mean, every, cause every episode has its own thing. This one where it's the like, it's the willies. I just didn't like that. I mean, it, <laughs> it, it, creeped me out. it creeped me out because it was just like, just the thought of somebody just outside of your apartment, just looking at you while you're sleeping and just feeling your fantasy that kind of shit creeps me out, but it was such a fun episode. But Don't watch really... you now. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh no, um, but... <laughs> but yeah, that scene, that scene specifically where she's just sleeping and then she just lifts up the, the sheets and it's just like hands, just like you know, fingering her pussy oh. and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Well, no, that was that was if I was directing them. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. What season are you on then of Angel? Well, I'm still on the towards the end of season one. Oh, so I'm, because there was a scene that I there was like a preview that I saw from Buffy where mm-hmm. something happened, and I was like, "Fuck, that's on Angel!" So I had to go back and just to pause Buff- Buffy and go back to Angel. But I'm having Dang. a good time. Why I were you were one... further in Angel because, well, let me know when you get to the final season because it it's okay. there's some. My favorite episode is in the final season, and it's it's Uh-oh. not that it's scary, but it is one of the funniest things that they they did, and I just they went full camp and oh, I love that. so when you get to season five let me know because but I even because even, even buffy there's one in the first season i believe that's called nightmare where everybody's just like living like everybody's just in the school and then it's just like their nightmares are coming to life and there's one with a clown mm. oh I, and then it was following <laughs> xander if i'm not mistaken i think it was that that's was right oh <laughs> my god that was terrible like, that was genuinely have terrible. you gotten yeah. have you gotten past her being in college still in college no, she's like, well, I'm season four. Season four is college. Well, uh, I, I, I want, have you watched Hush? The show? The movie? No, no, no. He no, no, there's the... an episode called Hush. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't yeah, think yeah, he... we got to that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Four. Have you saw that? Yeah. Oh, my God. That was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That but is... It, I, I, still is... I felt like my family, my ancestors were kind of like... I don't know. It was... It, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. That was... I, I'm still shocked because that was... They really pushed for that to be like a Emmy nominated episode. And it honestly, that's a very well produced episode of Buffy and acted. So that took good. me the fuck out because when is they were like, how are you going to take them out? And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> I had to pause. It was so funny. Oh my God. No, but there's one that I always think about when, oh my God, it was, I forgot what season it was. I think it was season three, probably, where they're like, she's, she's, Buffy's talking with Angel. And they're like sitting down and she's like, I think it was like the the kid, the kid that got his finger stuck in the duck or something like that. She's like having a conversation that comes up and he and he's like, Dyke. And she's like, that's what the, the name of the thing. I don't know if anybody, everybody who knows where I'm talking about, it is because the, the look on her face, she's like, Dyke. Like, it's just, and it's just, that's the actual, that's the way it's, it is one of the funniest, she has those moments where it's like so funny, but yeah, that's, but that, uh, that angel episode, it creeped me out. Because he was just like adamant on her. It, ugh, I don't like that. The hand. This might be a hot take, but I loved Angel better than Buffy. Like season or show. Really? Wise. I, Angel I never finished Angel. Very, oh, towards the end, it, it just has a really fun arc. And it honestly, I was bummed. I mean, it still ends on like it, it closure, everything. But like I was hoping for another season and they were really pushing for it. But they're like, if we get one, we know where to go. If we don't, we give you a great place. I was like, well, I was no pretty upset because I just witnessed the murder, a death of a certain character. And it broke my heart. An angel? Yeah. In the first season. 
Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, it was really sad because it was. I really like. I loved him. I was he the one that starred in Roseanne? Yeah, and he actually died. Oh, yeah, that sad. was. Yeah. It was sad. I but I'm a whore that. for Cordelia, so I'm like, I, I'll, I'm just like, I'll take Cordelia any place. When I saw when I saw that she wasn't in, in season four, I was like, I was about to stop watching, but I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's my favorite. Yeah, Carpenter. Yeah. She's amazing. She <laughs> does not age. That whore, because I follow her on Twitter, so I'm like, isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> My God, but yeah, I love that okay. episode. I mean, but uh, Buffy also has like really creepy episodes, but that one I, I remember because I can't always think about the hands just walking around, and it's not like it, like you know, like it's not that. It's like actually just like creepy. I don't know. <laughs> just the okay. Beep, I know. I okay. yeah. I I would like to. I I remember watching parts of Buffy when I was younger because it used to be on the TV, and I just remember being in love with Spike. But um, I have never <gasps> watched it. Like, are like, you serious? Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna like, lie. Every time Spike shows up, my nipples get a little hard. And I love the actor. He's so oh, cool. I love him. Oh, he's so good. And, and oh, he was in Torchwood. He... And he pl- oh, oh, I did well, like him in Torchwood. Well, that's your type, though. He's yeah. not. What well, well, I don't have a type, but it's just like he's just so bitchy that I can't help but love him. Yeah, because he's like, like he's he's so just, I love a bitchy guy. I don't know. I love a guy that's like. <laughs> so even though i haven't seen the show that always stuck with me even just seeing scenes of it so i will watch it at some point i think they're all on are they on Netflix, on disney plus yeah okay maybe i'll watch i mean sure. i've got so much to watch oh that's right it used to be on hulu yeah. but um, yeah because everything that's, that's we why have everything it's disney plus over there like yeah. 28 weeks later hulu. next to um She's aladdin yeah, it's nice. like okay um okay then um yutaka what's your second one please <laughs> So let me find out when this show started, because uh, we were getting into that. But we're going to stay in the same vein of because uh, Buffy eventually went to the CW and that's where Angel, you know, originated was on the CW. So the CW also has another horror show that is one of my favorites. And I and, and yes, because I have no life, I've watched every episode of this 15 season show oh girl damn yeah supernatural okay Ooh. with Ooh. sam and dean <laughs> with jensen ackles and jared padalecki and they're just two brothers who are on the hunt to find their father and go after the demon and i even killed- say his own name but padalecki rolled off the tongue Oh, these names are really close. I don't even know. So, but um, Dean and Sam are going after their father, trying to find also the demon that killed their mother. And throughout this entire show, it deals with either just like folklore, but also heaven, hell. So you get to see angels, demons, and they've had a really good kind of like how Buffy and Charmed might have like had uh, people guest star who later became famous, like. I mean, again, Pedro Pascal was in Buffy, you know, yeah. and Amy Adams was in Charmed. Yes, so, I remember that episode where she had a bad mind. You know, yes, oh, so, oh, so Supernatural okay. yeah. kind of did that as well. I had people who like started out and then became famous. And it was just, Wasn't again. Amy Adams Tara's sister in Buffy? Oh, that I don't know. I'd have Wasn't. to go back and look. But, I know that season yet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's not on that character yet. But um, <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> uh, but with Supernatural, though, what I really enjoyed about it, though, is you've got two fine-ass men as leads who are always getting in trouble. But um, there's also, I mean, towards the half end or the later half of the series, they start to get super meta and because now Dean and Sam are a thing in the real world, like people know about them. So they got people creating fan fiction about them. And, and that kind of pulls into it's really funny because they play with that because the whole thing is at a certain point is who is God. And God was the character you were this once introduced to God. And you don't find out till later. It like this whole was it a lot of that. No, I'm not saying the show was perfect, well, but it, God, it really, it? It, yeah, it played to fans <laughs> and it was so much fun. And um, I loved it. I do know that the guy, I think it's the guy that plays, why is, like, why you the the that plays Death. Who, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, because he was anything for Jackson. Yes, his creepy ass. 
Oh, he was so much fun. I mean, you can sit on his face and he will hit that prostate because that nose is strong, honey. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh what happened? What happened, George? Um, (laughs) so my question, I have a question. Um, yeah, my my question. Why did you not just interrupt? I didn't didn't want want to interrupt. Um, So I wanted to know because I've only ever seen one episode of Supernatural and it messed me. Like I was very young, I was at a sleepover, and I just want if you could confirm which episode that is so I can rewatch it again, see if it's terrifying as I thought it was. And it's to do with the clown. Oh, oh my god! And is this where um and there's like kids and like he comes into the house at night by the pool and I just remember like I'm being horrified. Oh, I know it. Yeah, because um Sam was terrified of clowns and everywhere like Sam would look like there were this in like um the peripheral you'd see this clown. I will find that episode. I know exactly what you're talking about. It is freaky because yes, kids. No, One the kid, thing like, also... lets him in. The kids the get house. killed. Yeah. 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 Oh, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you're kids, interested. These kids die because they are dumb, in a sense, because they, as um, George alluded to, they let the clowns in the house. That's all I remember. I know. I was just like, what is this show? So, so it is actually, it's have, a um, freaky effing episode. On my list is coming up is a clown. Oh, the, the, the <gasps> movie. Oh, the yeah. Eli. Did Eli yeah. Roth do that Eli movie? I, yeah. I know it because of the, I always have, I have like a pages thing on my thing. So I always have the thought, the, the poster. And that poster just. That's a it, fucked up movie. It, it it's really so good. Me, yeah, it creeps me the fuck out. When I saw that, that poster, I was like, I don't know. Yeah. Because like it, it looked like it, it was just like the, the thing was coming. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like yep. that. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. a good movie. I like it. Yeah. But uh yeah, George, I'll find that episode. <laughs> okay. But either way, supernatural. It's it, it is. They even did a musical episode and it's really good. Mm-hmm. Haven't they all? <laughs> okay. Yeah, but they got people who could sing. That, well, was, that yeah. does help. Unlike Buffy. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it. Moving well, on. I haven't seen that episode yet, so yeah. That's why I wasn't going to say oh, anything. Yeah, spoiler it. That's why I was saying No, no, no. He, Nick told me that there's going to be a musical episode because I'm a musical whore. So, I, you know, I, he told me that. Gotcha. So like, Even yeah. I know that. Okay. Also, yeah. it's been 30 years. <laughs> like, if he so? hasn't watched it by now, it's not my fault. That's like maybe Excuse everything. me. I would never spoil... Sp- spoiler. I would never spoil uh, Murder, She Wrote to anybody or the Golden Girls. Because I have class. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the only thing is, we've all seen it, but George and a whole won't. lot of ass. <laughs> yeah, well, you can spoil it for me if you want. Um, okay, well then, moving on to someone who has no class, Liam. What's your um next one, please? Me, I have no class. Um, my next one is Lovecraft Country. <gasps> okay. Mm. Um, I was oh, finally that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, no, I love this show. So I'm happy he brought it up. Oh, you ass. <laughs> oh, proceed. Oh. I heard Lovecraft yes. Country and just took the ghost out of me, I guess. Jonathan Majors. Mm-hmm. The idea of Jonathan Majors ended his body and his oh. heart. It was just a bit too much. Um, mm. So, yeah. Lovecraft Country. Like, <gasps> the idea that it didn't get a second season oh mind baffling it was such a good show um is david feeling some kind of I no, another I, I show came like to in, mind i feel like we're and that's why no him. another <laughs> show came to mind that really disturbed me that is kind of, not kind of but it's lovecraft-esque amazon oh, prime oh uh, yeah Fuck me up okay yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, obviously it had Jonathan Majors, Jenny Smollett. Yeah. Did did she used to be called Jenny Smollett, Smollett Bell, and now she's just Jenny Smollett? I think so. Very confused. Yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah, we'll go with them. Um. Oh my god, that was so good. Um. I'd never heard of like Lovecrafty stuff before. Yeah. Um, I feel like this is quite an American thing. Is um, Lovecraft? Yeah. No. I thought Don't that. I mean, oh uh, wow! It's, I thought it was it's like. Not, um, oh. I was taught that in college. Yeah, in college. yeah. It's not. It's not part of the education system over here. Oh, um, we tend but it's to still a genre. Of, okay, all right. It's very macabre. We just the mm-hmm. the UK tends to go with the UK writers. 
Um, <laughs> and obviously for the macabre kind of stuff, we have, we tend to go towards like Mary Shelley and yeah, yeah. Well, wasn't H.P. Lovecraft like a huge racist though? I don't even Which know. Which explains so... the show Lovecraft Country know. when you I'll I'll look that up. Well, but because of the yeah. era that show took place and the themes, but I'm pretty sure you H. P. Lovecraft as a person was actually not a good person. But well, uh um, you should know you were there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Anywho, oh. um oh. let's go on. <laughs> He's going to take that Elvira doll back in one fell I want to wake up and it's just all her hair is cut off. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll put, um, I know what you did. I, exactly. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, anywho. Yeah. Oh. So Lovecraft, it's uh, Jonathan Majors and Jenny Smollett going on with Michael Kenneth Williams. Oh. We don't need everybody. Uh, oh, right, okay. so, like, so okay, but, on. <laughs> Michael K. Williams, I I will give. I'm glad that Liam brought him up because he was. It was sad when he passed oh, away. Gosh. He's been in yeah. so many great roles, and he, that was just because that the show also deals with, um, you know, coming into your own sexuality and homophobia as well. Like, oh, the role he played just so beautiful. Um, mm. but yeah, it's them three going going off. Um, to Lovecraft Country, hence the title. Um, to find is it Was Jonathan it? Mage's oh. dad? Yeah, that's who Michael K. Williams. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, be your favorite. Show. To you find know a lot about it. The uncle. Um, I can't remember these things. No, but you remember um, their bloody names. Jesus, I know. I, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I have them wrote down so I didn't forget who they were. Written. But then I forgot to write down actually Gosh. story parts. Um, or do you want some always help? Complain, <laughs> he's always complaining that I forget things. So I thought, oh, I know. I'll write everyone's names down. And then... Oh, oh. Well, we'll Can I interrupt plot, one not thing? The... <laughs> Can um, I... <laughs> Why not, you talk okay for it? Yeah, so H.P. Lovecraft, I was incorrect. It wasn't that he was a racist, he just originally supported Hitler. Oh, well, well he had, I mean, crazy. he was persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going yeah. to help, I mean, I'm going to Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we know. But um, so if you need help with the... Game. Oh, no, saying. I I lied. I had to go down further. He kind of was. So he was all oh, things. But... I mean, the Hitler part kind of gave a little bit of it away that there yeah. might have been some racial ambiguity. Well, um, yeah. yeah. But do you yeah. need help with the story points, Lee? Can we do like a. No, a I just spark couldn't remember notes, whether cause... it was the dad. All I could. Spark all I was forgetting notes. was whether it was the dad or the uncle that they were going after. The dad. It's not like it was a different. It was the dad. There we go. Yes. Thank you for that. Um, so they've got to go to Lovecraft Country and they've got to find the dad. They but then there's like me. this like Aryan race Hitler bitch um, comes up and is all like... It's all coming together. Who are you? It is Who now you? that he's saying this. Um, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can see the themes. <laughs> However, though, the show <laughs> is very well written. On. It's it's very so well written and well acted. Yeah. Um, um, the one that plays Journey Smollett's sister, the the stuff. <gasps> oh, with her... uh, is it Wonder oh. Masaku? Yeah. Yes, that's it. I know who you're talking. Um, about. She's in Loki. Yeah. I didn't know how. I didn't know how to say her name, so I just didn't write her name down. Um. <laughs> um she, she, was yeah, she was probably the best. She in, was good in, in terms, terms of she acting. Was really good in this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, the stuff that they did with her. Oh my god, I'm not saying what happened with her because it is very sm- spoilery and it is quite shocking to watch. Um, bloody too. This this show was bloody. Yeah. Mm. All the blood. All of it. Beautiful. Mm. Loved it. Um, but yes, there's lots of things. There's like a whole part in China with Jamie Chang. Um or Chung. Chung. I, I don't know. Jamie, I'm be honest, this was a lot to take in. So hold on, she <laughs> yeah. was the yeah. <laughs> she was the Asian in um, House on Sorority Row, the remake. <gasps> oh, okay, there Wait. you go. Oh, not House. Oh, I was. He was the I one was like who the got the. There was no um... Asians in the original. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 in the remake. Sorry, just Sorority oh. Row. She was the one who got the um, flare gun in the mouth. Oh, girl, yeah. what? What? You've seen Sorority Row, right? No, oh, I haven't seen the sequel. Oh, you haven't seen the sequel. 
I thought well, I'd probably forget the by the time I watch the movie. Yeah. Mm. Okay, never mind. I but, thought you would have been all over the remake since you like that's Black, what Nick Black says. Christmas. I am actually well, but, well, kind well, of here's the thing. I'm nervous. <laughs> well, because I'm nervous because you know how I feel about Prom Night. So I still haven't seen the remake of Prom Night because I know how they fuck things up. Yeah, no, no. So you know the how I remake so of precious. this? You know, yeah. The remake of this is good. And it's a got Carrie Fisher. Yeah. Oh. I mean, yeah. And it's got it's right. someone from the hills in it. Yeah, it does. No. Oh, Adrina. Adrina. Adrina from Dead the hills Eyes, in, in my opinion. But yeah, the one who oh, yeah. always looked like She's she was... terrible, but it's great. Yeah. Okay, I can get it. Okay. Yeah, I think I mean, you oh, would well, actually well, enjoy well, it. Well, the thing that I have and I'm obsessed with is the soundtrack. Because the soundtrack was recommended to me on Spotify. Mm. Oh, oh my I'm going to have to listen to that. I don't think I've it ever to that. You know how I'm about soundtrack? Oh, mm-hmm. wow. Ooh, ooh, so, okay, ooh, all pussy. right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to listen to that later. Yeah. But yeah, ooh. it's either way, Lovecraft Country. I'm with you, Liam. That is, it's a phenomenal yeah. show. If if anything, David, mm-hmm. if, you, if you're if you not up for the series, you could honestly just watch the first episode because I think it was like um, an hour and a half. It was like a movie. Okay. And it's so self-contained that it's, it is really effing good. Like it is movie quality. Well, one thing that I did see yep. is a clip. Is I think it's I think she's waiting on the train tracks or something, and these two little heifers are following her. Oh, oh, oh I've yes. seen that clip as well. Oh, oh my god! Like, what the fuck is going on? Like it creeped me that because those you know, twins people were are following so me everywhere. good. Oh yeah, yeah, uh huh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They were. All, that was a yeah. great episode because it was giving minstrel show, was. and I was like. Oh. Oh. No, it is. I know. It's what it is. It's what it's mm-hmm. giving. I know. No, it's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. It's like, terrifying. They are yeah, terrifying. That, that's why I said that's what it reminded me of them. Yeah. From, yeah. from Prime. That yeah. show disturbed me on a level that I had to. I had. To, I, I couldn't go back to the show. Wait, what show? I, had, I, um, I finished it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, they? Oh, them. yeah. No, I. I mean, that girl? I, girl? I'm, girl? It's not as. It's not as disturbing. Them is like Lovecraft Country times twenty. Like them no, is hard they, to get it through. It was unhinged. It was yeah, like I can't. No. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. But anywho, anyway, okay. So no. Lovecraft <laughs> Country. Lovecraft Country. Thank I just you. wanted to say it because I feel like more people should watch it. Who's in the cast again? No. Anyway, <laughs> so uh... back off. Half an hour later. Oh. Okay, so mm. my next one, sticking with... Um, sticking stick with... who? I'm sorry. Sticking um. with... Well, I would as well, actually. I wouldn't mind. Um, oh. Sticking with Charlie Brooker, because to me, he should be a lot more famous than he is, and I think he should write a lot more. Um, and I am going to go with Black Mirror. Um, and I'm going to go with two specific episodes at most that just end... To me, uh, to the pinnacle of the best of all of them, because it started off strong, the show, then they went to America, unfortunately, um, and yeah. kind of it went a bit weird. But it's still very good. But the the from, there's an episode in, I believe, season, I believe it's season two, or episode, season two or season one, White Bear is the one I'm referring to. Um, oh, you, you talk us up. <laughs> and it's... It's about this specific. Uh, there's a two I'll mention. This one is this cocaine bear? No, no, it's the original. Oh, yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> um, so no, it's ba- Cordy. <laughs> so it's uh, basically Sean again. Um, <laughs> oh, anywho, the episode is this woman wakes up um alone in her house with no recollection of anything that's happened, and nobody is around, and everyone that she sees is just filming her and won't speak to her, and she's oh. like, "What's going on?" And they're just following with a camera. Um, and then she gets caught up with these other people and she's trying to work out what happened to her and why all these people are filming and like what what is going on, what happened to them, why didn't she get affected, something to do with this white bear she keeps seeing in her head, this symbol. Um, these are very much, for those of you who don't know what Black Mirror is, it's Twilight Zone with technology, basically, or it's um, Tales of Unexpected um, with technology. So there's always a twist to all of them. Um, and so this one has Ooh, a... it's getting twisty. It does get very... Mm. This one gets twisty, and by the end of it, you're like, I just want to... This is... I want to throw myself off a building. Um, so there's that <laughs> one. And the other one where you want to throw yourself off a building is called oh. Shut Up and Drive, I think it's Ooh. called. Or, or don't... Oh, is that the Rihanna song? Yeah, that's what it's about. It's something in Drive or Punch Punch and Drive or something. You know what I'm talking about, I was going to say, later. yeah, I don't think they would have named it that. No. I think it's Shut Up and Drive. I've got Alyssa and Tatiana in my head. Right, yes. exactly. So, 
So I know the one you're on about. I know the white bear one. That's the one with Leona Critchlow in it from Sugar Rush. Yes. Go. Okay. Um, shut up and shut up and dance. Sorry. Um, oh. That's close. So shut this, up and dance with so me. So basically, this one again follows this boy, um, young by. He's an awesome actor, by the way. He's the one from End of the Fucking World. Um, the young Netflix. lad. Yeah, yeah. 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 young lad from him. And this one again, I can't really tell you much. He gets caught up in a blackmail scheme, um, where he has to like do all this stuff because he's been blackmailed for something. And the ending of when you find out what that is is like it's it's really well known if people who know it know it and like the it's been the end scene of that's been told to be like one of the best end scenes of any tv show because it is just like insane so black mirror itself is fantastic i'd really recommend it and you can just pick it up because it's all anthology so each one is a different episode so you can mm. just drop in and out um but those two i really recommend the most because they are the are ones that you're gonna come end out with another season yet? yeah there is because oh okay um, just, just like i've been waiting it, on it <laughs> They, I, I love I'm Black not going to look because so. it'll take me four hours and we'll end up like Liam. But there's somebody in the cast that's coming to season five. So, um, yes, I recommend Black Mirror. It's on Netflix. Very good. Um, and there's also an interactive one on Netflix. Um, I didn't like that you... one as much. I Isn't just that fancy the one where they the made fun of the it? guy's looks. Like, I remember there was one that the guy was so... That people were, like, making fun of him. It's the guy the actor. from um the We Are The Millers. Yeah, yeah. That was yeah, the one that I was... want Will Poulter. Will Poulter. Who has beefed up? I mean, I liked him before then. I liked him in We Are the Millers. I liked him um, in We Are the Millers. He was a little cutie. Yeah, not was. in that way. Not in no. a George way. I'm not a pervert. I just wanted to be like, oh, you little cutie. Oh, good. Put your treat. Well, I liked him in that. Anyway, okay. so yeah, um, Black okay. Mirror, check it out. Uh-huh. It's disturbing. I'm not um, shut up and dance. And do we all know what the Black Mirror is, guys? It's this. <gasps> There's your black mirror <gasps> technology. Bam. Anyway, um, moving on. Let's go to our final ones because we're like way uh, behind. Um, uh, you talk well, out. Oh no, David. Sorry, uh, it's David. <laughs> well, if yeah. Liam wouldn't give us the whole cast list, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So take <laughs> if you just let us, if you just let us quickly say things and then stop interrupting us, I wouldn't go on for tangents for oh. four hours because I forget where I am, and then I can't, and then I have to start all over again. Well, Debbie does nothing as feeling it tonight, darling. Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> not Debbie does nothing. <laughs> but anywho, <laughs> on, don't take Yusaka off. Oh, Yusaka's gone, hun. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, that's uh, anyways. While well, he recovers, mine's a bit of a repeat. Is, is Alfred Hitchcock presents? Okay, I, the so other one was back. Alfred Hitchcock hour. Okay. Uh, this is Alfred Hitchcock presents. Do you like Alfred Hitchcock? Oh, oh my God! Hold the cock. Um, anyways, but and Alfred Hitchcock presents was shorter. It was like twenty five. 26 minutes or so mm-hmm. there's two episodes that i love is one is the creeper and one is bang you're dead the creeper is probably my favorite one because it's about this man who's strangling women and he there's this woman who's become so paranoid that she's going to become next because all the women are blonde and like housewives and all that stuff mm-hmm. so she, she's the housewife but she's blonde and the husband works at night so she's at home in the night time the ending because this is i feel like it's the original like the call is coming from inside the house kind of situation. Ooh, okay. okay. This woman is paranoid. She's doing every, she's running everywhere. She, every, all the errands she needs to do. She's running before the sun comes down. And there's one, she wants to get a, 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 lo- a lock added to her door because she only has one key to, you know, lock the door. And so um, I, I really want to, I don't want to spoil it, but it's like so hard not to, because it's, um, she gets home and she the guy she calls the guy and she's like hey could you please come she's like well i don't know when i'm gonna be able to get there but i'll be there as soon as i can she caught oh she's called she has a conversation with the, the husband on the phone and she puts the phone down because the guy came i want to spoil it i'm sorry Go but, for it. Yeah. yeah yeah she's on the phone she's like no, oh my god i'm fine yeah, i'm fine i am i'm fine i'm good i'm good and she, she puts the phone up because she's like, oh, wait, the guy is here to fix the door a lot. No, no, no. And when she's on the thing, or you, all you hear him say, did you watch the news? Did you hear the news report? The guy's disguising as a locksmith to get into the houses and kill women. Ooh. And she gets back on the phone and she's like, oh, my God, I'm so happy the guy's here. And he, all you see is a hand just choke the shit out of her from the back. And it just goes black. And it's one of the greatest, it, the suspense that it builds because you feel like so bad for her. She's like so paranoid. Oh, that's it's good. like my favorite. Yeah, but "Bang Your Dead" is probably one that really 
like fucked me up because it was like a kid that he was a little kid. He used to play with guns and you know cowboys and Indians. I know you can't say that now, but that's what they were playing. It's nineteen sixty. So um, <laughs> he's playing with a gun and his uncle comes to visit. And while he's um, while he's being nosy in his uncle's um, suitcase, he finds a real gun that he thinks is a fake gun. So he takes it instead of his gun, he puts it in his holster. There's a bullet in the gun. Oof. So he's going around saying like, bang, you're dead and all that stuff. And he's at the supermarket, bang. And you're just waiting for that bullet to hit that. It is like, it generally like. Oh God, the tension that must, that must build. It's... I'm kind of getting a little. <laughs> and towards the to end. This. And towards the end, where he's getting to the bullet, the maid, she's black. And um, so, yeah. uh-huh, yeah. You're waiting for, yeah, you're like, oh, shit. So, yeah, I'm not going to spoil how that ends, but I'm like, oh, please don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah, one yeah. of my... Don't, don't don't spoil the obvious ending. Yeah, yeah, It's but it's the suspense is on un- Like, that at show, both horror and presents, Mm-hmm. suspense like nothing I've ever seen before and it's nothing gory, it's nothing crazy it's just a suspense that you just like and for 1960, 61 so it's like crazy. That's pretty good mm. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, my two favorite yeah. oh, so oh, Thank you David yeah. Okay, my um, pleasure darling Yutaka, what's your last one? Well, uh, I it's one I've talked about a couple times uh, just because you know I'm a whore for gore and uh, we also know mm. I'm a shill for Shutter. I get it. I know. I hear it. It's mm. okay. But the show uh, originally started on Netflix, you. and it ran for three seasons. And then the yeah. fourth season came to Shutter, and that was Slasher, Flesh and Blood. And I mean, they went heavy on practical effects. Um, David Cronenberg was also like a guest star in the season. Wait, what's the show again? Slasher, Flesh and Blood. Is that the one with the guy with the teeth from head to toe? No, no, no. Which was that one? That that is seeing... on Channel Zero. I'll, I'll find the episode. Okay. I know what you're talking about. That shit is sick. If mm-hmm. anybody knows what I'm talking about, the guy's covering yeah. the teeth from head to toe. Ugh. It's gross. Oh my God. <laughs> so <laughs> this, uh, this season is you get this family. The patriarch is dying. And if, ev- if who he wants whoever's the strongest to inherit everything. But in order to do so, they have to play games. And it's literally like Saw. The problem is there is an actual murderer on the island taking them out one by one. And these people are also like the worst of the worst. So I really love seeing that uh, because some of them get some gruesome ass deaths. Mm -hmm. Channel Zero. God. It is like, like, it's, yeah, it's disgusting. Anyway, sorry. I just couldn't sleep. But yeah, yeah. Slash of flesh and blood. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I love it. It's also from a queer creator, so that's always bonus. So in each season, now it always feels like there's somebody uh, queer, non-binary, or you know, of that. I'm hoping they'll maybe we'll get a trans kick. No, we did. Stop pushing Actually, the agenda. I, right. <laughs> Tennessee's just, gonna come after me. Uh, in no, your face. But, yeah, but season four was just so good because you had some really campy characters. And I mean, you got to see somebody get like quartered in this show. And that was vicious. Court ordered? Quartered. Vincent. Like um, oh. legs, limbs, <laughs> or legs, arms, all chopped off. Oh, dismembered. Off. Yeah. Okay. You're drawn gotcha. and quartered. Because I heard court he order. Was I was like, like oh, that is good. Oh, oh, <laughs> No, like they have, he's got ropes around each um, appendage and it just pulls Ooh. and eventually, yeah, that's drawn and quartered Ooh, and girl. it will pull you yeah. apart. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> okay, shred. so uh, thank you very much there, Yutaka. Do you remember that yeah. really vicious court order? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, that is scary when well, you got to go to court in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I had uh, jury duty and I had to get up like at five in the morning. I was like, this ain't right, bitch. This is sick. Oh, yeah. jury duty oh. was the most boring thing. Oh, I really want to be on jury duty. Over there? Yeah. 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 Oh, really? Yeah. I can't I, I wait. Just sat, I want to get mine. I just sat and read, read my book. Oh, the drama that I'm going to bring. Because the drama I'm going to bring to the courtroom. Hold on a minute. With the way your system works, is y'all really have to go? I'm confused. Yeah, and we have to be on the jury. So man. you get a letter. You get a letter. You yeah. have to go. It is for two weeks. You have Ooh. to go every day for that two-week period. No. Um, it's not the same court case. It could be just multiple. Nope. 
no, no. You so saw you're not guaranteed to actually get on a. On any. So for two weeks, so, you have to go every day. Sat, yeah. So, you got yeah, me fucked so up. So your work has to continue paying you. Well, yeah. Um, that's same here. You get. Yeah, what if you're you get two weeks. Well, good question. They'll pay. Oh um, no. They'll give you the money. Um. The, so uh-uh. you go every day. <laughs> You've uh-uh. got to sit until you've got to be there for nine, and you've got to sit until I believe it's two p.m. Um, if you don't get picked by two p.m., you can go home. Um, if you work, you've and you are within a hour and a half distance of your workplace, you have to go back to David work. over there. Um, my like, titty uh-uh. itches. I'm trying to be like <laughs> my titty. I'm trying to be soft about um, it. I'm like <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just. <laughs> But if you do get picked, then obviously you are on that trial, and you okay, stay there until that just... trial is over. Yeah, that's sick. Um, so there, there was one that I got called down for, but my number didn't get picked. If I'd have been picked for it, the trial lasted for three and a half months. <laughs> I would have been there for three and a half months. That would have been so. What oh type of case was it? Um, murder. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, I would love to end on that case. So, given Jennifer I Jolie, get one two. Um, I no, get one you would not. You killed him. Yeah, and you killed his daughter. Like you can't speak at all, though. <laughs> no, that might. That's George. my nightmare. That's my nightmare. I did nightmare. get to go on. I did get to go on two, though. I got to do um a. It was a um seventy year old gay man, extravagant gay man who had a fight with a forty year old butch lesbian. Um, it Very was you. the greatest. It was great. The old gay man turned up to court, pissed, um, and was like giving off all these eccentric lines about what was happening in the bitch. fight and stuff. I am not like <laughs> <laughs> it's the birdcage all over. Well, it literally, literally, <gasps> literally was the birdcage. Um, it was up in the gate box, like talking like that. It was great. Um, and then the second one was um a fight oh in an Irish pub. Legally blonde. You bitch! <laughs> Don't you go <laughs> stomping <laughs> last week or oh. last season's Prada? Don't you stomp your last season Prada shoes at me, honey? And then, oh, I love that. I love that scene. <laughs> no idea. Um, so oh, yeah. that was fun. But um, oh, what's your George, third one? We haven't got bin. time to be changing. We haven't got time. But oh George, God, right. you would never get on a trial because when they ask you all the questions, you'd be the one who's given off those conservative answers, and like, like we can't have them on the jury. I just always say if you're in the United States, always pick for December. That's usually when they're like low on thing. I got I I just get dismissed. Mm-hmm. I've only December's had it once, like, so and it I've was had it like fucking like three times. Well, you um, live in New York. I'm sure there's a lot of court cases. Yeah, especially after well, this scream. I'm here, guy. If I'm gonna be there next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Time will tell. Right, Anywho. Liam. Okay, last so one. my final Please. one. Quick. Um, I was going to go with The Baby from HBO Max, oh, um, but I changed my mind because that was a good one. But because I'm still pissed off that this was cancelled, I'm going to go with um, Santa Clarita Diet, with <laughs> the one with Timothy, Timothy Oliphant and Drew Barrymore, mm-hmm. because it was so fucking good. It was so funny. Um, it was Drew Barrymore gets bit. Bitten. Yeah. yeah, bitten. Bitten, bitten. Um, by some sort of thing. Um, it turns her into a the living dead, but she's not like she's not like your typical zombie. She's still like your suburban mom. Um but she still needs to feed. And it's, so it's the journey of her family trying to either heal her or and feed, but while trying to feed her at the same time. And it is so funny. Timothy Oliphant is hilarious in this. And sexy. Um, oh, so sexy. Oh, I'm moist. Um, and oh, and oh. it has sh- shitney, shitney. I can't do it the way David does it. Um, Harrison. Yeah. Well, Portia de Rossi. Shitney. It has Portia de Rossi in it as well. Um, oh, this is a scream reunion. I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh. And then it's also got Liv Hewison who went on to Le- Yellow Jackets. Because mm-hmm. so, Yellow Jackets is a, another That's amazing a one. Part. I might that start watching that because be the trailer watching. for Series 2 came out in front of Scream yesterday and I was like, this looks really good. You guys got a TV show as a trailer? So good. Yeah. We oh, get, wow. Yeah. That sometimes Wait. happens over here. 
have you Paramount seen Plus, though, because it's Paramount Plus, isn't it? So, no, I haven't yeah. seen anything, but mm. I just saw the trailer. I was like, this looks, I've no idea what's going on, but this looks fantastic. So, yeah, you should watch, you should watch season I might watch it really on Paramount good. Plus. So, I'm trying to get uh. Liam and I's screeners for season two. Uh, well, it looks, I'm really trying, good. I'm trying, Liam. It's not, <laughs> please, not we looking, want to review it. Not looking good. Um, <laughs> I know, but still, we can watch it with the, with everyone else. Um, so yeah, Santa Clarita Diet, Netflix, please bring it back. Other places. Someone pick it up. Someone do it again. I don't, I don't think it's so going to happen, but it's never going to happen. Yeah. Um, but I would just love it to happen. Okay, thank you, Liam. That was lovely, um, concise and quick. And I'll just finish this really you. quickly. No one off this time. <laughs> no. Um, I will just finish Girl. off um with one that was fantastic, and then was ruined. Um, because it didn't need to be changed. And that is Scream, the TV series, because series one and two of that show, oh. I don't care. They were so good. I knew it wasn't going to be frigging R- Roger L. Jackson, everyone popping in, Sydney popping in. Like, I knew it was going to be its own thing. And it, I really enjoyed it as its standard thing. I enjoyed the mystery. I, re- I really liked um, the character of Emma Duval, and I think she should be in, like, Scream 7 or something. Um, mm. I thought she was really good. Um... I, the kills are really cool. There's one kill with a tractor, like Jesus Christ. I mean, they took like kills to a whole new level. Really, really good. Then the I that really was enjoyed a good kill. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was a bit campy and like it wasn't, you know, so it was a bit cheaply made, but I didn't care. Well, it was, it was MTV. Exactly. It was great. I loved the Halloween special. And then uh, Queen Latifah popped in and said, like, let me let me reboot it. And we with the actual mask, and then it was and Roger L. Jackson, but it just wasn't as good. Unfortunately, is as... it because you didn't like seeing a diverse cast? No, it's because it was oh. terribly written. <laughs> diverse cast? Who was the killer? Oh, girl, about <laughs> cities. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I was just being messy. It they being had messy. Kiki Palmer in it. it did. But... Kiki Palmer that was, was the, the only good, good part... thing. About that was the it. only good thing in that that it season. Was... Yeah, Tiger was in it. Jesus. Um, it just I wasn't good, was unfortunately. It. And I think they were kind of like, look, here's the mask, and we've got um the actual voice, and it, but the story just didn't wasn't great. But the first yeah, two seasons, the story I remember the second scene... season. I, I remember yeah. a scene. What was it? Oh, I remember the two things I remember about the show is the trailer. When everybody's at the party and they're waiting for the for somebody to open the door and they're everybody's dead and they're just like mm-hmm. it's pretty quiet. Yeah. And then there's a scene in a is it a bowling alley? Yeah, and really series me the two. Fuck out. Yeah, really, this shit shook me the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought it was, I I had a blast. I had a good time. I enjoyed but... it. It was an easy watch, and I thought, and I was like, this is really good. And so I would like it to come back. I think they could. I they they were rumors that they they may do it, but I mean, there's always that was just everything. Reddit going off and creating stories. Yeah, it's I mean, not coming back. But with a show like that, you honestly could wait ten years and still make you know. Well, yeah, and all like all the people have gone on to different projects. They're not, you know. No, but I'm saying like you could just you just reboot re- it. like you, you know like you could. Yeah, you just could. a brand. So, you but yeah, so I'm going to say that one because I think it's still on Netflix here in the UK. Um, I don't know what it is in the US, but I think it's on Netflix here too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I really yeah. enjoy it. I thought it was good and it was something different. And yeah, so I'm going to say screen the TV series because I can't go an episode without mentioning the damn thing. So there we mm. are, everybody. <laughs> that was some of our top. So my other one is oh, okay. Do you want to name <laughs> the list of <laughs> starring um Jennifer? <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Sorry, this one actually hasn't been that long. It's only been an hour. So this will um, buy for me. Oh, it is not. It is not available in the UK anymore. Okay, well, sorry, guys. You have to buy. It. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I want to thank my fellow colleagues for colleagues, my fellow co-hosts for being here today. It's colleagues. been an absolute pleasure. Oh. And let us know in the comments below if you've seen what we've mentioned. If you haven't, some of your top favorite horror because uh, that's TV shows that isn't maybe American Horror Story and The Walking Dead. Let's get some. Um, um, diversity in there oh. when it comes to titles because there is a lot more out there um, but yes as always please yes. not forget to like share, comment and subscribe you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram we are at the Horror Hour TV and if you want to join us on Patreon links in the description below you get early access to our videos you also get to join us in live streams and watch songs because guess what George can speak fast because he's what Eminem thank you so much Lots for watching rise. guys and we all shall oh. see you later the I, who, with the real Slim Shady please stand up oh girl right. sit down you have been listening to the horror hour see you next time